Hi guys, the other day I made this delicious kimchi soup and it was so quick and easy. Kimchi, as you probably know, is the national dish of Korea and it is essentially salted, spiced, fermented cabbage. And you'll need to have made it in advance or you can buy it in supermarkets. If you want to make it, I'll give you the link to my kimchi video in the description below. This soup was really spicy and flavoursome, but really healthy as well. Start off with your kimchi. This has been fermenting for over three months now. I'm just going to take about two cups worth of it. That's about a quarter of the Napa cabbages I used. Don't bother measuring it out with cup measures though. Just eyeball it. It doesn't really matter a huge amount. Then cut it up into bite-sized pieces. I think it's best to use a kitchen scissors when it's in a bowl and just snip it up so that you're not getting juices everywhere. Next, add some of the juices from the jar, two or maybe three tablespoons. Then just pour all that directly into a large soup pot. Next, take about 200 grams of pork belly. The skin's been removed, but some of the fat is still on there and just cut it up into small bite-sized pieces as well. Once that's all chopped, go ahead and add it to the pot too. Then add two teaspoons of sugar. Next, add some spicy gochujang. This is Korean chili paste and it's so delicious. It's just the nicest hot sauce in the world, I think. And add a generous tablespoon of it. Now take about five cloves of garlic and peel them and then thinly slice them or you could grate them or crush them if you like before you add them all to the pot as well. Now you will need to wash your chopping board and knife really well before chopping some spring onions because you will be using some of these raw. I have six here and just remove and discard the roots and then separate the green part from the white part. Save the green part to garnish at the end and chop the white parts into about two centimeter pieces before you add them to the pot. Now take your pot with all of its ingredients over to the hob and pour over 1.2 litres of cold water. Then stir occasionally as you bring it to the boil over a high heat. Once it's boiling, stir it up again before you leave it alone and let it boil for 30 minutes. In the meantime, you can dice up your tofu. I have about 400 grams of firm tofu here. This comes in a packet of water and it'll get a little bit firmer if you let it rest on kitchen towel to, to dry out a little bit. This firm tofu doesn't need a whole lot of cooking, maybe 10 minutes, but if all you can find is silken tofu, which is softer, that's okay. Dice it up the same, but only add it into the soup right at the last minute. It just needs to be warmed through, not cooked. Here I'm carefully cutting horizontally to create two even sized kind of slabs of tofu. That'll make it a lot easier to just cut downwards into evenly sized dice. Then transfer it to a plate and set it aside until later. Then take the green parts of the spring onion and just chop them up. I think it looks better if you do this on the diagonal. This is just to sprinkle over the soup right at the very end. Once the soup's been boiling for 30 minutes, stir it up again before you pile in your diced tofu. Give it a little stir and allow it to cook for another 10 minutes over a medium low heat. Then sprinkle over the spring onion greens and serve it at the table. This really was piping hot, but I also thought the leftovers were really nice, which I had at room temperature. I really love these kind of Asian brothy soups where you can see everything. The tofu, the pork, the onion, and of course the kimchi. This soup was really, really nice and spicy and salty. It was just delicious. It's actually really healthy too. Kimchi has got a load of health benefits. Really good for gut health as well. And South Koreans have one of the world's longest life expectancies and they're mad about their kimchi. Thanks a million for watching guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. In the description, you'll find all the links to my social media accounts if you want to let me know how you got on with this recipe. I'll also include the recipe for my classic kimchi and the link to my blog where you'll find this full recipe at www.rookiecook.org.